Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to give you a demonstration on how to make this shrug. And I've been at it for 10 days now, so I need to get this finished or it will never get finished. And for this shrug, uh, for adult size, you would need two skeins of 198 grams worsted weight yarn. So let's get started. I'm going to do this demonstration for a women's size small. And I'm going to work with a size 9 millimeter crochet hook and one strand of worsted weight yarn. And this is the neck section. Single crochet in the second stitch from the hook and in each stitch of the chain. Then a single crochet all the way across. Okay, I have single crocheted in every stitch of the chain. chain two and turn. Make two double crochets in the next stitch. So that's not the stitch. The chain two takes the place of that. Make two double crochet in this stitch. And make one double crochet in the next stitch. So two, one, two, one. Repeat all the way across the row. Okay, I've completed that row, and you will now have 54 stitches. The next row says repeat the previous row, so chain two. Make two double crochet in the next stitch. One, two, one double crochet in the next, two double crochet, one double crochet. So I'm going to repeat that across this row, two double crochets in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next. Okay, I've completed that row. I now have 81 stitches all the way across the row. If you get to the end of a row and you have one less stitch than you should have, in most cases, it's the top of the chain two that has been overlooked. In reality, the first stitch of the row is the chain two. So a stitch also has to be worked into the top of that chain two. like that. I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. Four rows of chain two and turn, double crochet in every stitch across the row. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've done the four rows of double crochet in every stitch around. and. At the end of each row, you're still maintaining 81 stitches. And here's how it looks on the mannequin. So that is the end of step five. Okay, moving along with the pattern. The next step is step six. So I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to double crochet in the next two stitches. One and I'm going to make two double crochet in the next stitch. One, two. So I'm going to proceed all along my row and I'm going to do double crochet, double crochet, two double crochets. Double crochet, double crochet, two double crochet. Okay, I have completed that row.
And the next step, which is step 7, says double crochet in every stitch around and repeat that for two more rows. So that means for a total of three rows, we're going to just double crochet in every stitch across the row. And I'll meet you back after I've gotten that done. So I've now completed step 7. Okay, so in the next step, I'm going to work across the front, skip some stitches for the sleeve, work across the back, skip some more stitches for the sleeves, and then work across the front. Chain two and turn, and we're going to work back across the row. It says double crochet in the next 15 stitches. So one, two, so I'm going to proceed to the 15 stitches. Okay, I have now worked my 15 and then I skip the next 20 stitches. I double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, so here's the 15 double crochets that I made. And here's the opening for the sleeve. And then my first double crochet into the back. I chain two double crochet in the next 15 stitches, skip the next 20 stitches, double crochet across the back in the 35 stitches, skip 20 stitches, and then double crochet in the next 16 stitches.